Hi, this is Ross at Woodfire Power, and in this video I'm going to show you some more detail of getting the little weed eater steam weed eater two cycle engine converted over to steam. Again, today we'll be running on air. Um, this is the same half inch solenoid valve that I showed you in the last video, but today what we've added to the engine is an electronic. Uh, switch that fires the solenoid. So this is a little Hall Effect pickup that is being triggered by the magnets that are already in the rotor of the weed eater engine. So these magnets in the rotor are what would fire the spark plug uh, magneto circuit. Then um, around back here we have a new circuit board and hopefully someday we'll make these and sell them and you can buy them. But this works much better than the little micro switch, as you will see in a moment. And then these are the two knobs that are on the board. The first knob controls the delay, which means the magnet swings by the uh, Hall Effect sensor, and then that creates an edge and then this delays when to fire the solenoid after that edge. And then the dwell um, controls how wide a burst, how long a duration of a burst of air or steam gets delivered into the engine. So in that way we can shift in time where the burst happens and we can also adjust the time duration of the burst. So we can move this back and forth like that or we can move that back and forth like that. Anyway, if that's complicated don't worry about it. Again we have the same uh, simple household switch to turn things on and off and um, just to get things going there's a little micro switch here just to give it a, an electrical kick um, right there and then on the shaft, so that you understand what you're seeing in this video, I just painted um, some black and left a part shiny so that I can use the um, tachometer to show you the RPM. The RPM is going to spin up to, I don't know exactly what, but four or five thousand probably around 4,000 RPM, maybe a little more. And then in a later video, we'll connect this up to the alternator and see how much power we're getting from it. But um, just comparing this to the way it worked with the micro switch, there's no comparison. So I have zero question that we're going to get a lot more power. And that'll be in an upcoming video. Right now, let me... Um, carefully fire things up so forgive me for being a little slow and methodical here but I don't want to lose a finger I'm running this thing okay so there's that and we are now live on power and hopefully it'll run So that was about 4,500 RPM, and um, I'm sure it won't run anywhere near that fast when it's connected to the alternator, but it should have a lot more than 63 watts. So we'll find out about that in an upcoming video.